going on, I'm going to be showing the new feature on the Flight Radar 24 app on the iPhone. Um, the app should work on all iPhones and iPads. This is the iPhone 5. Basically what it is, you used to click on a plane and be able to get a bit of info about it. Zoom in and out, see what route it's kind of done. Different things like that. Well now they've added a new feature, which basically is 3D. So you'll click on your airplane, which is this Ryanair one that we're going to use for the demo. Coming in to land at Manchester, as you can see it's only a thousand feet up. And uh, with this one now, if you press the new 3D button, which is here, you'll see that it jumps into a 3D mode, which kind of shows you what perspective the pilot will be seeing out the window. So yeah, I'm going to show you basically this for a couple of minutes. Not perfect yet, but it works. It's pretty good. And you can see at the bottom, it gives you the details. Oops. The heading that it's flying at, 230 degrees at altitude, 960 feet. Speed, 125 knots. And his vertical speed, 640 feet per minute. And the time that he's expected to arrive, which is 25 past 11, which is about now, any minute now. And that's basically it, so I'm just going to leave this one finish. You can see it's not quite perfect, but it does work. I think the thing they need to work on is the actual ground sets, just so they're not fully loading before the plane flies over. I know oh, that'll be a Google issue and not quite a flight radar issue. <laughs> He's got a bit of a choppy turbulence, this guy. Oops. He's back online. And there we go. I didn't quite track it. Oh, he's not quite down yet. I think it's showing him as down. 100 and odd feet left. After the threshold, any time now he can touch down. And he has. He's down. So that's basically the app. That's how it works. It's a new feature. I don't know if it's available on the free version, it's the pay for version, but yeah, it's worth a look. If you were to keep watching it now, you'd see him take his taxiways. But yeah, that was it. Cheers. Matt Eliad, by the way.